Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Today in this video, we have got something super useful lined up for you. Installing on OneDrive on your Android phone. Yep, that's right. We are talking about having all your important files right at your fingertip wherever you go. So if you have ever wondered how to get started with OneDrive on your Android device, you are in the right place. We are going to walk you through it step by step in the simplest way possible. Stick around because we are breaking it down into super simple step. By end of this video, you will be a OneDrive Pro managing your files like a boss from your phone. So without further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so now I am uh, on my mobile phone and let's go to Google Play Store and from the Play Store, we'll try to download it. So I'm in Play Store now and I have to type OneDrive and search it. So after searching and you can see here the software link called Microsoft OneDrive which is by Microsoft Corporation. Just look for, always look for the company who is providing the app. So in this case is what a Microsoft, this is good. So you can see here this has been downloaded and now it's installing it. And see the installation is uh, in progress. And uh, I think the installation is done now. Just click on uh, open the app. So once you click on the open the app, it will uh, ask you to key in your user ID and password. If you have, if you do not have the user ID and password, you can just watch out my last video where I have uh, showed you uh, the way to create a new account for Microsoft OneDrive. So I, ha I already have this account. So let me key in the account here. And after key in the account, it would ask for the password and let me key in the password here and it should be the strong password and after key in the password just click on the sign in button and uh, after sign in a button uh, it's uh, your chrome is asking about the saving the password i do not want to save it so i will just skip uh, it is asking for the security and all so i just skip for now for 15 days and then i moved on click on the next and then i moved on after moving on you can see this app has been installed now and now it's uh, showing me some uh, value uh, plans where it says that 50 gb storage and 1 tb storage so i do not want to buy it now so i just uh, skipped it and then i can uh, this is asking for the saving the photos so i just wanted to click on the later and move on later on i'll show you how to to enable that and this is our, our checking about asking about your uh, uh, like notifications so as of now i'm just uh, ignoring that i'm i don't want to allow this this one so that's it and i can see here now i'm into file section and you can see here uh, the all my files which was there on my online drive which i showed you in the last last my last video it's showing here and the second one is shared so this shared option is nothing but uh, the files which you shared with somebody else and uh, and someone else will, will be shared with you that will show up here. So now I am into uh, this setting button, me settings. And you can see here, uh, here it's showing you the couple of option here. So what I, I will do is here, uh, I just click on this uh, camera backup. And once I click on the camera backup, it asking you to confirm the account and it says it will ask you for the camera's photos so i i give the permission permission then i moved on and here you can see here and this option it says this include a video but uh, i don't want to include the video because since i have this is space as previous so uh, i just uncheck that bar and then when i come here it says like which are the folder you want to backup so i selected the camera whatsapp and whatsapp image. Sometimes you get very important image on the WhatsApp, some documents. So, so I just wanted to back up my uh, uh, WhatsApp photos as well. So that's it. It will back up my camera uh, uh, camera folder and then there's WhatsApp uh, as well. And you can see here when you scroll it down, you have an option called App Lock. So this is, this software has an inbuilt option for app lock just for security reason. So let us let it uh, set it up this uh, uh, this pin. So it will ask for the pin and the reconfirm the pin. And after giving the pin, it has been set it up. 
so now when you exit this app let's check this whether this pin is working or not so let's exit this app and uh, re reopen it and let's see if whether it's asking this uh, pin or not so i exited it and when i try to re-log in to this app it's asking about the pin so let me key in the pin and you can here you can see here now the pin now i can open access this app so you have noticed one thing like in the pictures you can see uh it's showing some uh, amount of space right consumed space here and you can see here there are the three folders which has come so this is my system folder so you can see here when i click on the camera roll it is showing all the pictures which were there in the camera and that's it for today's video if you have any question please put me in the comments box thank you